guys, I'm back with another video. So today's video is yet again another Chama Chats video featuring your boy Darius. As you guys know, every single time we have to drag, every single time we have to just tell it how it is, you're gonna expect Darius more times than not because with this situation, things have gotten a little bit far. But before we get into that, I'm gonna let Darius just introduce himself, who he is, and shout himself out. What's up, people? I'm Darius, aka Uncle Dare. Um, if you're new to um Chama's channel, please subscribe to her channel and also subscribe to my channel uncle dare entertainment mm -hmm. u-n-c-l-e-d-e-r-r-e-n-t -E -E period. period now let's begin all right judge um chama i'm um, presiding thank you darius so today we have a case of yet again another black hair stylist basically doing the absolute most a proper blowout okay if your hair is natural you need to make sure your ends is stretched out like this. After you blow out your hair with a blowout, you need to go over your ends with a flat iron. If you come and your hair is, is natural like this and the ends is not like this, then guess what? We would have to reschedule or if you really need your hair done, we would do it. But there will be a inconvenience fee. Please take note, if your hair does not arrive to me like this, you come to me like this, then we will either have to reschedule or you will have to get your hair properly done, but there will be a $15 inconvenience fee on top of the $25 blowout and press fee, okay? It's $25 if you're natural. If I have to blow it out and pull it out, it's $25. If you're not natural and I have to just blow it out because your hair is extremely thick, then it's a $15 um, uh, charge plus the $15 inconvenience fee, okay? Because you have inconvenienced me of my time. Now I have to accommodate and do this all over. And I'm with a student right now, so don't think that I'm just saying like, oh my gosh, she came and it wasn't done. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're in a class. You can see we, we're in a class right here. Okay, so this is the proper way that you have to come. Um... Uh, blown out okay only thing you do you take it and you take the flat iron and basically it's it's not about the root it's the end this the end portion needs to be pre-stretched and a lot of people are, oh well what about protective styles listen this is not going to damage your hair sweetheart we have our hair can sustain anything, okay? We have very great strong hair. This is because when you get your braids and you see that fuzzy look, it's because that client is natural mm -hmm. and when they started to braid the client's hair, this hair started to pop out the, the, the braid. When your hair is pre-stretched out like this and we're braiding it, it flows perfectly with the braid, okay? And this braid is actually done in this state. It's done in this state, which is not a great state. But as you can see, it still came out a little okay, but it could have been a little better. And the braid will last longer. So please make sure you pre-stretch your natural ends if you are indeed natural, okay? If you arrive and your hair is not properly blown out, appointment will be canceled. If you really need your hair done, you and understand that you will pay a $15 inconvenience fee on top of, you know, uh, the, the, the fee that it, it costs. So I like to be extremely transparent, extremely detailed in the messages that I send. This is sent in my detailed message, okay? So please understand that. But as you can see, look at that. It's beautiful, okay? So be very very aware that this is how your hair should be properly pulled out okay and this makes it much easier for us braiders when your hair is thick and coarse like this it puts stress on our fingers it makes your braids look tacky because of the 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 the, the fuzziness of the of your natural hair okay so this is important 
this is extremely important so just please be mindful the problem with this situation is that in an era where black beauty is being talked about amongst everybody and we're talking about hair and color features for someone to have this notion about black hair as a stylist is absurd so enter first evidence we have the stylist named touched by thirsty now she is from florida let me let that sink in. She is from Florida, so you already know what that means. That nut ass state. This nut ass state. She is aligning these unnecessary requirements for her clients to come in and get box braids, and she is further damaging her client's hair by setting these unnecessary standards for the prerequisite to how your hair should come if you want to get your hair braided by her. Not only that, but her prices are honestly ridiculous. Now, I'm the type of person where I feel like if your price is your price, your price is your price. I always tell people, you know your worth, you know what you're gonna charge. But sometimes I can honestly say, you know what, it is doing too much. Now Darius, what was your first, I guess you could say, reaction to this malarkey? Um, first I just saw like how she was just going over one part of her hair multiple times. Just, just one strand of hair, like 10 times. I'm like, can you move to another part? Please. And this is a little girl. At right. that, she probably already got a um a fragile self esteem. Now this little girl feel bad about herself and all that because you talking about how bad her hair and this is how you supposed to do it and all that. I said, uh uh, that's not how you handle a child's hair. That's definitely not how you handle anybody's hair. Now most of the outrage is coming from the fact that box braids are supposed to be a protective style of natural hair. So why she is using this excessive amount of heat over and over and over again on one small section of hair as she's talking, to me it's like that defeats the purpose of a protective style. I mean, if you're gonna take my hair and you do wanna press it out or blow it out, by all means, if that's okay with the client, and obviously this is a kid so her mother would have had to approve that or whoever her guardian is, but what are you protecting when you're taking heat probably at, at the very least 400 degrees and going over the weakest part of the hair strand, which are the ends which are the oldest part and you're just going over it as she's talking like I just could not for the life of me understand what are you doing like this is not how you sell yourself to a world of clients that you could potentially have and we're also going to get into the fact that her response was just ridiculous Bullshit. she was literally going off and saying like this is why there's so much hate and there's no unity but this is why people are um, sensitive these days yeah, she's right on that part, she is right that people are sensitive but this is not the time to use that this argument. This is not that argument, you know what I'm saying? Defendant, that is just not okay. So whatever the um the judge be sustained overruled, that's get throw right there. We're gonna what? throw that one right on out. Yo, one video. That's how that's how bad our culture is. It's like you do one thing that well it's like y'all so sensitive. Our people are so sensitive. Listen, we say we got the we, Y'all say we got tough skin, but y'all so sensitive. Why y'all so sensitive? We can't even listen. If you cheat, listen, people. If you sneeze like this, if you sneeze like this, if you sneeze like this, they're like, oh my god, why would she sneeze on her hand? That's just nasty. If she sneezes, sneeze on her hand, oh my god, why would she do that? Why would she cover her mouth? Like, why would she sneeze like that? Oh my gosh, why would she sneeze on her shirt? That's just nasty. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. Y'all too sensitive. Y'all are too sensitive. Y'all need to break out of that. Y'all need to break out of Now let's talk about the quality of her work. I feel like for her to be charging what she's charging for certain styles, there are people that can do it for way less. And granted, as a stylist, charge what you want to charge, especially if you are licensed. But she doesn't do these extraordinary breaks. She does what other people do. She does, I can get that here at the university to like i can get that done here i'm not paying 300 dollars for braids i don't care what length or what size i'm not oh the devil is a lot yeah uh -uh. she lost her everlasting mom now let's also move on to her requirements so she basically is stating that the requirement of her clients that your hair should come not only blown out which i can kind of understand which it doesn't need to be blown out to get box braids but i can understand why you would want it to be blown out but pressed 
Now, if you don't know what pressed means as it relates to any hair, it doesn't just have to be black hair. That means you blow dry your hair, it's more of like bigger hair, um, but it is kind of stretched. And then pressing is basically taking your flat iron and not necessarily straightening it to like bone straight, but just pressing it down so that it's a lot straighter than it is when it's blown out. And I feel like that's absurd. This is box braids. The actual hair of box braids is more of a, like a Conecolon texture, like a kinky straight texture. Your hair does not need to be pressed to blend with box braids, not a, not one bit. I also want to point out the fact that she said that if you do not come with your hair in that way, that is now going to be a surcharge or an extra fee for inconvenience. Now I take offense to this inconvenience word because doing my hair should not be an inconvenience if you're a stylist and you really love your craft, your profession, and actually doing people's hair and making them feel good about themselves. It is not an inconvenience to go to work, okay? I understand you have to get paid, but it's not an inconvenience for you to get up and do what you claim that you love. If blow drying my hair just because it's for or it's more textured, it's more kinky, it's more coarse, it's more whatever it is. If that's an inconvenience for you, then you're in the wrong field, period. Because no, because no. She lost me with them $300, I would never. <laughs> the inconvenience part is just setting me up, but all jokes aside, why is it an inconvenience for my hair to be natural? Like there's people who are natural like myself who really do not put any heat on their hair whatsoever. Like I get heat on my hair maybe once every three months and I'll go get it, you know, washed, blow dried, trimmed and stuff like that. Like every three months, like every 12 weeks, there's people who don't even put anything on their hair. So as a stylist, you're already cutting yourself short. Granted, I know she's probably getting booked. I mean, it went viral, like people are still gonna book her. But as a stylist, you're cutting yourself short trying to minimize your clientele to making them conform to standards that really are very unreasonable. Like, as someone who does hair, even though I don't care to do hair as a profession, to me it was a slap in the face because we're already at a day and age where young girls feel bad about themselves for having kinkier hair. Like, people want hair that's silky. You can say what you want about whatever wig I put on. It is what it is. This is a protective style the same way box braids is, so I can interchange both of them. But, like, people that just have 4C hair feel bad about their texture because not only do other black Black people talk about it, black women and black men, but white people talk about it. We've had to conform and assimilate. So the fact that you're a black woman and you do hair and you understand that or at least you know about that, I feel like it's very wrong to say it's an inconvenience and charge more just because of the type of texture somebody has. It may be more work, but you signed up for what you signed up for. This is your profession. That's like a surgeon coming in with a patient who is maybe my size trying to give me a BBL and maybe someone that's, you know, 300 pound woman trying to give her a BBL and trying to charge her more because it's just more work. No, your price is your price for your service period doesn't matter i just want to drag her i have nothing to say about her hair and shit i just want to drag her okay so let's get into the dragon <laughs> now this woman and i'm not even going to really come for shorty looks but i know darius is mm -hmm. you could go ahead and just describe your feelings towards her appearance when she got on the live trying to you know basically defend herself and her hair um uh, first of all her hair looked tore the fuck up period so don't try to convince me how to do hair and when your hair is tore the fuck up yeah um she built like a damn teletubby she <laughs> she looked like a damn sewers rat I just can't with this bitch. Like, she really tried to convince us how to do hair, and her hair is tore the fuck up. And she's trying to press her hair and all that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. That ain't gonna help it. Your hair just tore the fuck up. Not only that, but your hair is damaged. Like, we know that this is what you do, because if you look at your hair, your hair is damaged. She got on live questioning other random people about their braids and their hairstyles and things like that. As she was looking the way that she does, and people were telling her, like, but baby, your hair is also damaged. Like, how can you talk about us? And she tried to downplay the work of other stylists just because people were disagreeing with the way how she does business and I feel like that's wrong like don't talk bad about somebody else's box brace install and how much they pay for it just because the world is mad at you right now like no natural hair like natural hair works better for me process hair when like natural hair in its natural state no no you got, but listen, listen you want to grow as a you want to grow as a stylist right you have so to when you to went, when you got who did your hair um, my friend in the Bronx, she did my hair and my hair was completely natural in its 4C state and she did it. Yeah, I, it's just that doesn't work for me. You know, hair, my Do you think you can try? My yeah, friends look nice look. and smooth and I, I, my hair was just flattering and watched. No ends frayed, no ends sticking out. Perfect. You said your hair was flat iron and washed. No, it was blow dry. You just said flat iron. I did not. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me if I did. Well, I did not mean that. I meant to say blow dry. That's it. Blown out. Well, you know, I, I, that's just my process and everybody do things differently. You know, um, 
everybody do things differently and everyone is entitled to do things the way they do it and if my clients you are you making your money so if my clients like, aren't complaining and they're booking me babe they booking me i'm getting booked babe. like and at the end of the day all this negative like cali baby can you get out of that can you please be careful? Do you use like do you use products like to smooth the hair down, gel, shiny gel? Like y'all gotta be fair. I don't know why y'all just attacking me as if I'm the only stop. Y'all making me feel like I'm an alien out here. Mm -hmm. Every stylist, I don't stylist, listen, but... I am from South Florida. Every stylist that I know that braids hair, you have to have your hair properly blown out. But blowing out and flat iron is not the same thing, huh? Blowing out and flat iron is not the same thing. It's still like, heat, but it's not that. But it's more heat on top of heat. But I'm, I'm do you get your hair silk, silk pressed? Do you get your hair pressed with flat irons? Yes, I do. Every once in a while, I do. Yes. And do you have do you have any problems? No, I don't. But. Did you see how many you you passed the flat iron over this girl hair like ten times to flat iron this one piece? That's the whole point. But back to her looks, I just kind of feel like why did you even get on camera doing all this hot movement? Like I'm not gonna get on camera knowing that the world is against me looking like that. Look and I'm not trying to mess. down her looks, but like I'm not gonna get on there looking a hot mess. Like she she looked a hot mess. Hot mess. And that and and look, we're, and we're talking about hair. Her hair looked a hot mess. Like as a hairstylist, you're not selling me, baby. You're not selling me at all. I don't want to buy that if that's what my hair's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. Nope. If you're gonna have so many girls show up with a certain hair texture or a certain way that their hair should look, regardless of their texture, then don't even accept those clients at all. And 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 then you have your discrimination problem because that's discriminatory. You're a hairstylist. You're a black hairstylist at that. Everybody knows black hair is versatile. Everybody knows black hair comes in. Shoot, it could be straight. It could be kinky. It could be coily. It could be wavy. It could be loose curl. It could be deep curl. It could be a whole bunch of different things. That's why it's black hair. That's why it's versatile. So if you're going to have a problem with a certain type of hair and tell somebody that they have to manipulate their own hair to be your client, then you shouldn't even be in this business. At all. At the fuck all. Period. So she can get the fuck. ASAP. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget she's talking about the little girl's hair as the little girl is in the chair. Yep. Like how dare you? You're an adult. You're a grown woman. This little girl doesn't know any better. I don't care if the girl is 10, 11, 12, 9, two months. You're talking about this little girl's hair and saying this is how it should be. This is how your hair should look. It shouldn't look like this side of her hair, but it should look like this other part of her hair. As she's in the chair, like that is just conditioning right there. Like you're conditioning her and you're grooming her to believe that there's something wrong with her natural hair. Point blank period. If you come and your hair is, is natural like this, and the ends is not like this, then guess what? We would have to reschedule, or if you really need your hair done, we would do it, but there will be a inconvenient fee. I'm, I'm in dragon mode. I, I am, like, I'm ready to drag this hoe. I mean, let's like, just- I just want to go to Florida, get my Tims on, get my Vaseline, and go stomp this bitch. At least we have a black man that rides for black women, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's somebody that's actually going to ride for black women, because we very rarely see that. And a lot of men that are watching this, and maybe some other black women may not understand why this is a big deal, but it's a big deal because not only are you degrading the hair that grows naturally out of your head, you're promoting one version of black hair that does not coincide with every person, which is why I always get on people like, you can say whatever you want about wigs or weaves or whatever, but there are people within the black community, and I'm not talking black American, I'm talking black, okay? So that's black in Europe, black in Africa, black in South America, wherever, black anywhere, that have all different types of hair. As for you to get on there and damage the natural pattern and think that you're doing yourself a favor as a business owner, a brand, a stylist, and person that's taking care of hair, you look crazy. I just, I can't, I can't deal with that. And I cannot deal with a stylist who decides to get their ass on camera afterwards and wanna be all big talking and tough, but then your page is now limited on comments. Like, no, keep that same energy. Yeah, keep that, yeah, keep that same energy. Like, you wanna be all big, Betty Badass and shit mm. and go on live and pe put people on your live and they calling you the fuck out and you talking about they wrong and shit. Hell no, they ain't wrong. With them burnt ass edges. Edges was tore. Mm. Edges was all over the place. And, I mean, we can say we want. I mean, she was not in her best state, but like I said, I wouldn't get on camera looking like that after I just offended other people because if you're gonna offend my hair texture, I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm about to say something to you. And people can say what they want. Wrong may be wrong. You don't fight fire with fire, but you can't expect people to be unoffended by offense. 
You know what I'm saying? So, and I look at her work and I don't think she's a bad hairstylist. Like, I think she still does decent work. My thing is, you do not have to manipulate somebody's natural hair texture to what you think is right to apply a style that people are applying on the courses of hair worldwide. Period. Like, the hairstyle she was doing, girls can do that uh, when girls just arrive how they come. Right. I because you are. I just don't understand that part. Let's read what her post said about how you should cook. She said, you want neat braids, sexy face, this all I ask for when you arrive. Please come properly prepared. If you are not properly prepped, that is an inconvenience because I run off of appointments. It's just like you arriving late. That's an inconvenience as well because that too throws me off. All of you that keep DMing me, please rewatch that video because y'all clearly misunderstood what I was saying. I never once said doing natural hair is an inconvenience. I said when you arrive and it's not blown out correctly, that is an inconvenience because it throws my schedule off since I have to do it correctly. No. That's too much of an excuse for me because what you should be doing, even if your client arrives in that way, it is not an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. To me, what you're saying is it is an inconvenience for me to prep your hair how I want it to be, not how it should be, not how it naturally is, how you want it to be. And to be honest, nobody's natural hair in its natural state should be an inconvenience to another person. Maybe to that said person it might be for whatever reason, for whatever rhyme or reason, but not to you as a hairstylist who is a professional who should know how to take care of natural hair. And that's on period. So we're just going to go ahead and end up this video before we get a little bit too, you know, wild up because you guys know how we can get, but we would love to know how you guys felt about this viral story about this hairstylist and her reaction to how hair should be properly grown out and pressed and her pricing and all that stuff because now. And also, let us know what um topics you want us to talk about because of course y'all um love us together in videos <laughs> so if someone need to be dragged let us know if somebody need to be praised let us know let us know whatever DM Anything. me, write it in the comments, email, DM all me of that. If you want more videos of us. And right before we go, I did want to give a big shout out to my best friend, Anthony Bustle. Bustle is his music name. He's coming out with his new single, Once Again Visions. I'm going to link it down below and I'm going to play it at the end of this video. If you guys don't mind going to support my best friend by just clicking that link and going over to his channel supporting his music he's up and coming with the streaming as well as the music and of course subscribe to your boy Darius as well let him know the channel name one more time Uncle Dare Entertainment yes. U-N-C-L-E D-E-R-R-E-N-T period that is it for this video and we'll see you guys next time bye guys When they see you got a vision, they gon' label you a clown until you open up your mouth and then you start speaking some nouns. Then you put them in the lyrics as it turns into a sound. And cause you put it to music, why's it turn into a crowd? Embrace with a giant smile. My happiness comes from music and making my mama proud. Her laugh is my favorite sound. The woman that held me down, you looked out for me as a kid and I promise to hold you now. What goes around comes around. The feeling I feel is proud. My business is ever.